Celebrating 30 years of phenomenal trend forecasting, five times a week, Monday through Friday. Here's Gerald Salenti with today's trends in the news. Hi, this is Gerald Salenti. It's Wednesday, September 7, 2016, and here are some of today's trends in the news. Over on the market front, not a lot of action. Over there in Asia, mixed. Over there in Europe, up a little bit. Over here in the States, mixed. Oil up, gold a little down. So, how come oil is up? I know this is going to come as a surprise to everyone. Oil prices edged higher as the market weighs the prospect of higher supplies against the possibility that the world's top producers could agree on a production freeze. How many times do we hear this and how well it works? Because, hey, just look what happened a few days ago. Yep, we hit a one-week high on Monday after Russia and Saudi Arabia agreed to cooperate on stabilizing the oil market. And you know what that is. That was bullshit. We keep hearing this over and over again, and it works all the time. Economies go down, but oil goes up. And they need the price to stay high, so they keep talking it up. And, of course, that meeting's coming up with those OPEC members at the end of the month. We'll see what happens. Also, another reason I'm not bullish on oil is because of all the alternatives that are taking place. Hey, I was just in Denmark. I just got back from vacation. Boy, you want to talk about a fuel-efficient country. You know, windmills everywhere, people riding bicycles everywhere you go. Yep. Try to keep the place clean. Not burning a lot of those fossil fuels. So, alternatives are going to keep cutting in to the oil and gas industry. Take a place like Texas. Yeah. Home of oil, right? Check this out. This is from the Wall Street Journal. Texas latest gusher. Wind and sun. Texas has added more wind-based generating capacity than any other state with wind turbines accounting. You ready for this? 16% of electrical generating capacity as of April. This is Texas. Multiply this times the world. Not only is there going to be a lack of demand as economies slow down, alternatives are going to keep eating away at the market, so they just keep talking it up. And talking about the markets and talking it up, U.S. service firms registered slowest growth since, this is 2016, since February 2010. And this is a service sector society. Thanks to Bill Clinton and all those Republicans and Democrats that sold you out with NAFTA and all the other trade agreements, only about 12-13% of our GDP is manufacturing based. So now you have the Institute for Supply Management says its service index fell to 51.4 last month from 55.5 in July, the August reading was the lowest since February 2010. And remember, anything above 50 shows growth. And we're only talking barely above 50. There is no recovery. It's a cover-up. And the Federal Reserve is a fraud. And if you don't believe me, well, you can by reading... This trend alert, trend alert, Fed hype a hoax, gold prices spike, what's next? Okay, there we are. Go back, go back several days ago. Remember, hey, you heard it in Trends in the News, get ready for yelling to yap after that Jackson Hole meeting, yeah. The Jackson Hole hoax 
in Wyoming when all those central banksters got together. And she gets out there saying how strong the economy is and how labor market keeps improving. And they're building up to this and you're seeing gold prices going down because why? Well, they're going to raise interest rates. That was the hoax. You saw that guy over there, the uh, Fed co-chair, went out, CNBC, all of them, Dudley and the rest. Oh, yeah, things are wonderful. Looks like a rate hike coming up as soon as September. And all the prostitutes, as they do, they sell out and buy it. Yeah, they buy the crap and sell it to you. They get paid to do it. Nobody calls them out. And what happened? The job numbers came out. The job numbers are way below what they anticipated. This is after the Fed chair lies to the people. Hey, don't call it a lie, Salenti. She didn't know. No, of course not. There is no connection. They don't know what's going on. It was just maybe another wrong call. Or like the other wrong call, go back to May. She did it again. That's right. It's in your trend alert. Fed chair touts optimism. And we go on to say that the Fed said there would be a rate hike, quote, in the coming months. And that the economy was so strong. And then those lousy job numbers came out. Yeah, you remember about 38,000 jobs were created. And then gold prices went back up. They keep doing this to push down gold prices, just like the OPEC guys keep putting out the scam that they're going to come up with a deal to lower supply. And it keeps working. The feds are liars. They're cons. And now you know what they're talking about. Well, you know, uh, how about some stimulus measures? That was the big talk at the G20 meeting. Stimulus measures. That means they'll steal more of our money and give it to their buddies under the guise that they're going to create jobs. And everything the governments have done are total failures. Hey, but this fiscal stuff will work. We'll steal your money, give it to our buddies, and they'll create jobs, folks. And you know who'll get folks. Biggest banks fine so far this year near total for 2015. The world's top 10 investment banks have already paid out almost as much in fines and penalties so far this year as they did in the 12 months of 2015, dashing hopes that the outlay for their misdeeds has begun to taper off. There she is again, misdeeds. Oh, yeah. Criminals. Lousy, stinking, vile criminals. But don't get excited, folks. They're allowed to steal. They're allowed to rob and nobody goes to jail. You remember Eric Holder. Yeah, hold this, Eric. That's right, the guy that was Obama's attorney general. Yeah. Yeah. I went back to work for the white shoe firm, white shoe boy firm on Wall Street. That Eric Calder. Yeah, the white shoe boy's uh, law firm that protects these guys. Too big to jail. But you make sure you don't go over that yellow line. Make sure your signal light is on. Make sure that you obey in the neo-feudal society. Right there, nobody pays for their crimes but us. Justice, J-U-S-T-U-S, -U just us. Eurozone economy loses steam. Yep, downgraded it, folks. Grew less than they said, and it barely grew at all. Quarter to quarter growth in the three months through March to 0.5, from 0.5 to 0.7, from 0.7 to 0.8, from 0.8 to 0.9, from 0.9 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 to
from 0.6, leaving growth in the first half as a whole weaker than previously calculated. Eurozone's 10 members economies increased by 0.3% from the first quarter of 2016. That is no growth at all, despite all of this stimulus and all of the negative interest rates that have only enriched the very rich. And the numbers prove it, as I keep saying, since 2009, when Obama, or Olaya, became president, 95% of the wealth went to the 1%. That's a fact, and it's global. According to Oxfam, 62 cats got more dough than half the world's population combined. So what does this negative interest rates do? European firms borrow at sub-zero rates Henkel and Sanofi become first public companies to sell negative yield bonds. German consumer group Henkel sold 500 million of two-year debt with a yield to maturity of minus 0.5. Sanofi sold 1 billion of three and a half year debt, also yield of a minus 0.05%. Imagine buying bonds that you know when you cash in, you're going to get less than what you loaned out. It makes perfect nonsense in this perfect nonsensical world. Because, as I said, it keeps enriching the rich, merger and acquisition activity, and stock buybacks. Again, when people say, you know, Salenti, you called it wrong. Yeah, I called it wrong because I never in my wildest dream believed in negative interest rates would ever happen. No one has. And all you folks out there, remember this one. Besides the negative interest rates, you got record low interest rates like in England at 322-year lows. What does it do? Pipeline firms in $28 billion deal. More mergers and acquisitions. And the other reason why they're keeping rates low is because if they go up, the dollar gets stronger. And what happens to those emerging markets? Boom, they collapse. But with that weak dollar, fund managers find summer rewards in emerging markets. Hunt for yields, risks inflating, emerging market, bond bubble. That's right. Can't get, make any money with negative interest rates. So let's go into those emerging markets where the economies look like crap and invest there. Because, hey, we're only gambling. On to some other news. History before it happens. Your Trends Journal. Take a look at that cover. People power. The war for freedom. And we write about it in detail in this Trends Journal that they're now reporting as headline stories in the Wall Street Journal, populist votes jolt Europe. They're talking about the election they had on Sunday, where, as we wrote in the Trends Journal, the AFD party, the alternative for Deutschland, the German party, creamed Angela Merkel's party. And it's going on across Europe. They're calling these right-wing parties, they're not right-wing parties, they're populist parties. When I was over in Denmark and listening to the news over there, and they had the prime minister or president of Hungary, Orban, saying the anti-immigration wasn't against the people that were coming in. They want to maintain their culture. What nerve they have in a globalized society to want to maintain their culture. How dare they? And when you look at the G20 meeting, that's what the concern was, the populist movement. The people know they're getting shafted, and they've had it. You're going to see more of it. 
Reread your Trends Journal if you haven't read it yet. Populism. It's going to replace the libertarian movements, the conservative movements. It's the new way, and like it or not, they're going to continue to win, but the media won't like it, and they'll keep calling them right-wing political parties. But hey, they're only prostitutes. They get paid to say that. This is Gerald Salenti, and that's some of today's trends in the news.